excuse me. Yes. Uh, how would I get to Pilgrim's Rest? Oh, come on, that's that way. Thanks. alone. It's lucky she didn't bite your hand off. Careful was I warned. Put your box into it. Percy Fitzpatrick, I'm on my way to Pilgrim's Rest. I was wondering if... Horses are faster than oxen. Take the coach. It's already left. How much will you charge me? Hey, where are you from? Cape Town. A city boy like you wanting Pilgrim's Rest. Gold. I'm going to dig for gold. About tennis racket. We tread beneath your burning sun, surrounded in your sounds. I've come to hear your voice of light, voice of Africa. Go on. Voice of Africa. Feed into my soul. Voice of Africa. Fill me with new life. Voice of Africa. Here was the Africa of my dreams. The freedom I had longed for lay before my eyes. A spectacle more wonderful than anything I'd ever imagined. There would be no turning back. Witness to your changing light, all the washing pin. I've come to hear your voice of truth, voice of Africa, voice of Africa. Feed into my soul, voice of Africa. Fill me with new life, voice of Africa. Voice of Africa. mad. It's the runt. If you prefer, I'll wring its neck. You leave him alone. <laughs> what is going on here? He was trying to drown the pop Ted. It's the runt, lad. He won't survive out here. Then let me take care of him. It ruins the litter. I'll keep him away from the others. Dragonsburg. Mountains of the Dragon. We're going over.
matter with him. He won't eat. That's the law of nature, Sonny. If a week go under. Yeah, I should have drowned it. Away from her. Each time I come back, I see fewer happy faces. There's not much gold left. What's left, I'll find. I'll get out here. Good luck, Vince. Thanks, Ted. I continue to dream of nuggets night after night. My hopes are fading with each new day. My only comfort is young Jock.
This is it, Jock. Ah, it's not much. But it's enough to get us out of this place. Found the nugget. Good for you. The rump looks all right. Ah, he's fine. Can I buy you a drink later? Must have been a big nugget. Oh, it's a nice little nugget. That should keep you going for a while longer. No, Ted. I'm packing it in. What for? I want to get into the transport business. This whole region is opening up. They've found gold at Leidenberg and Barberton. They've got the diamonds in Kimberley. The transport business is going to boom. And this should be enough to put down on a wagon. But you don't know anything about it. I'd like you to show me the ropes. I'll work my way to Delagoa Bay. Get my wagon there. Fitz. Transport riding's a tough job. There's malaria, black water fever, fly. Tetsy fly. They kill the oxen in the rainy season. <laughs> Digging for a living is not for me. I may as well be back in my cage at the bank. The journey up here was the most exciting time of my life. I want to be out there, in the wide open spaces. I want that freedom. Go on, Ted. Give me the chance. Take food from me. Well trained. Tomorrow, it's your turn to hunt. If you don't mind, Ted, I'd, I'd rather not. If you want to eat, you hunt. back. Try again. She never brought him along, Ted. He's a city boy. Thinks he can be a transport driver.
Jump! You all right? Huh? Must have thought you were a wee rabbit. I'm sorry. I tried. I just couldn't get a decent shot. Have oh, a next time, I'm there sure. There won't be a next time. Jess? Lion. Jess! Come back! Jock! 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 in a wagon. So who's going to drive it for you then? Eh? Eh? I'll find someone. And if you don't? Then I'll drive it myself. You couldn't drive a wagon. And you couldn't shoot a lion between the eyes. <laughs> Recognise it, Rant. I should have drowned you in it. Hello, Ted. I've come for my dog. Is this it? Yours is in the wagon. Oh, sorry, Jess. It's time to say goodbye to the last one. There you go. You need a driver. I've come to work for you. My name is Makuke. Jim Makuke. I catch him lying alive. You shoot lying between the eyes. You need a driver. Aren't you working for Seedling? Ka, Seedling is no good. Can you drive a wagon? Oh. He's the best in the business. But if you hire him, you'll have problems with Seedling. He's the best. I need him. You're on. And so my new adventure into the low-felt wilderness began. I had started out searching for gold, but had found instead a different richness. 
A world filled with beauty beyond compare. Jock, no! Do you frighten us? We mean no harm. We are not hunters. <laughs> you wise to go away. We shall talk. <laughs> Stay well, my friend. <laughs> We need meat. You've made your time. How's your wagon? Oh, it's fine. Well, lucky we got meat. Jack, come here. Taste of meat. 
Eat it, runt. <laughs> What's the matter with this dog? My meat no good for him. <laughs> hey, you leave him alone. I'm gonna kill this stupid dog. I'll put it down. He won't take it from you. Take it. You've trained him well. The cup by its tail. It's not a cup, it's a lion. He wants to bite me. So I swing him, swing him by the tail, swing him round. He spits, he shows his thoughts. So I swing him round and round, round and round. He's drunk, he's very drunk. And that's how I call the lion laugh. Good night. Well, I wouldn't believe everything that bloody Zulu tells you. It's true. The lion was swimming across a river, and he jumped in and dragged it out by the tail. <laughs> Every time I tried to bite him, he swung it around and around until they were so dizzy, neither of them could stand. Hyena! Keep Hyena! Hyena! Boys sure know how to make a man feel welcome. <laughs> Rocky, you rascal. Come on in. You gave us quite a fright there. Hyenas. I didn't think my girls were that ugly. <laughs> Tie those beasts up, then come and join us. Rocky Mountain Jack. He's a prospector. Whenever there's gold, there's Rocky. One of Jess's? I run to the litter. But it's got plenty of spirit, plucky like his mother. Too much pluck if you ask me. No such thing as too much pluck. You taught him how to hunt yet? I'm still teaching myself. I'm not having much luck. Man who blames his luck's got no sense, no honesty. It ain't the time's wrong, it's the man. It ain't the job's too big, it's the man's too small. Pups are like boys. You gotta help them some. Not too much, not too soon. You gotta learn themselves. Man who never makes a mistake never learns. And if you don't pay for a thing, you don't know what it's worth. Mistakes are part of the price you pay for knowledge. Well spoken. Man needs a dog out here. I mean the difference between life and death. I've seen it happen. Man wounded a buffalo. Turned on him and threw him over his shoulder. Came back to gore him. Man's dog got in between him, fought the buffalo off. Dog never stood a chance. Last right onto his nose. But he gave the man time to reload and shoot the buffalo. dog was trampled to death. But you, My uh... dog. There's no such thing as too much pluck. It's a big gun you got there, Rocky. You ever kill a man? Nope. How long have you had it? 20 years. Never had to use it. Seems a long time to carry something and never use it. Well, that's so. It's not a thing you want often. But when you do, you want it darn bad. Hey. Come on, boy. It's time your luck changed.
Sorry, Mom. So where are we going? Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Scared now, see how he turned and ran? I ain't chased him. He walked toward the sun. natural cycle. We're all a part of it. There. I couldn't have missed that. I had him right in my sights. What do you have him set at? 100 yards. How far is that anthill? About 110 yards. Well, 200. Thought it was only 110. Bush telescopes. Open planes. Makes things look closer. Across the water or a gully. Seems like you can reach out and touch it. We only shoot for the pot. That's all we need. That's all we take. What 
can't believe it. Well done. See you at Seedling. Yeah, I'm on goals. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for Seedling. He's a dangerous man. Feeds dogs to baboon. Calls it gambling. Jock's a clever dog, but no dog stands a chance against baboon. But surely that's not allowed. There's no rules out here, son. Any man fool enough to bet his dog can play. Baboons have teeth bigger than lion. Four hands to hold. So long, boy. out on me. Oh, you beating. Leave it, Jim. <laughs> I've got time. Don't worry. Nice to him. Mine. Name's Snarly. Come on, Snarly. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Good dog. Seedling's been keeping him for me. Promised me he wouldn't feed it to his baboon. <laughs> well, where's that run of yours then, eh? Eh? Maybe him and Snarly can be friends. <laughs> Maybe Snarly can teach him a thing or two, eh? Sounds like seedlings found a dog to fight his baboon. I'm gonna see this, come on! Jock! Jock! My money! I'll put your money on it. It's on the baboon. Any more money on the dog, gentlemen? On the dog! On the dog! On the baboon! Who's dog? Come on, gentlemen! Who's dog? It's a gentleman, any more bets? On the dog! Thank you! On the dog, come on! On the baboon! On the baboon, thank you! <laughs> Yours is next, Robbie. My dog's no match for your baboon, Seedling. Won't get no bets. <laughs> Better let me catch you here, huh? Go on, then! <laughs> Oh, 
that bloke around. <laughs> Drinks around me. Don't worry about the body. I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> How many dead animals are lying inside there, do you think? They just shoot anything that moves. Oh, well, soon enough, there won't be any game left at all. we killed. 55 elephants in one week. 28 kudu. 15 rhino. Do you want me to carry on? No. It's not necessary. That's right, because it's none of your business. Stop this nonsense! If transport's your business, you'll be passing through here a lot. I suggest you make life easier for yourself. And keep your nose out of other people's business. I like a dog with spirit. Makes for good fighting. Let's go, Fitz. It's not like him. 
um, I have a delivery for you. Uh, Miss Cubitt. Must be for my niece. Is it my piano? Yes. I'm amazed it's still in one piece. So am I. Are you pardon? Oh, no, no, it's oh. fine. get the opportunity. Do we jock, eh? <laughs> are you doing driving the wagon? It was never what I intended. I came here to find my fortune digging for gold. But then... Ah. The wilderness beyond the mountains got into my blood. The animals, the wide open spaces, and glorious sunsets. It's, it's a new experience every day. I can't explain it. You explain it perfectly. Patrick, he, uh, he brought it all the way from Delagoa Bay. He plays too? <laughs> yes. Um, Percy, this is Douglas Taylor. How are you? I should be on my way. Would you mind just signing this? Well, it was very nice meeting you. I hope the piano brings you great joy. I'm sure it will. Jock, come. Jock, come. Mr. Atherton. He's come all the way from Pretoria to address these rumours about the proposed railroad to Delagoa Bay. Mr. Atherton. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, um, I'll get right to the point. The results of all the various surveys conducted by the government have proved positive. And so we intend to go ahead with the project. What about the transport riders? It's going to kill our business. Yeah. <laughs> Want to ask a question? Put your hand up. Yes. Will Pilgrim's Rest be on the route? No, I'm afraid not. The, the track will go from Leidenberg oh. down to Delagoa Bay. But Pilgrim's Rest will turn into a ghost town. I will never get a steam train over the mountain. Our engineer, Mr. Taylor at the back there, has found a viable route. Yes, you there. Uh, how long will it take to complete the railroad? Seven years. Then I'd like to take this opportunity to bring a matter of a more pressing nature to your attention. Uh, animals. <laughs> Particularly the elephant, which is just being slaughtered indiscriminately for its ivory. I, there are no controls or restrictions on hunters whatsoever. This has nothing to do with the meeting. We are talking about the railroads. Yeah. Yeah. Then I think it's time we talked about animals. Uh, what is the government going to do about this? I, there isn't even an official in this area. What are you suggesting? 
that the government issue hunting licenses with restrictions as to what is shot. Because if we don't, we'll all suffer, including the hunters. What are you trying to do? You'll get yourself done. <laughs> you can learn. But there's truth in what he says. Years ago, the plains of America were filled with mighty herds of bison. Then along came the white man with his guns and greed. It wasn't too long before they were wiped out. Makes sense to me to take a lesson from that. Take that, Rocky. It might come in handy. Go on, take it. <laughs> I'll treasure it. Thank you. You take care. saw Rocky again, but not a day went by without his lessons being put to good use. Where's Jock? I don't know. He went after a kudu. And you left him? I have searched, Jim. He could be anywhere. Jim, will you come back? It's too dark. You'll never find him.
Jock! Bring water! Is that a man? Help of man! Help of man! I'm the little boy on fire. I'm the man. I'm the little boy on fire, Jock. Jock's got a nice scar to show for his night out. How did you hear of Bush Telegraph? <laughs> What's up, boy? Dog needs cooling off. <laughs> Jock, no! Robbie tells me you want a crate taken down to Delagoa Bay. And my wagon's outside and we're ready to leave. Tell Sam to load up the crate. Hey, your dog's making a name for himself. My baboon could do with some uh, decent competition. I'm willing to have a good odds. Don't waste your time even thinking about it, Seedling. What's the problem here? Why is this so heavy? Come on, my It's ivory. Take it off. I heard about your little speech in Pilgrims. What of it? You're living dangerously, Fitzpatrick. Hey, 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 hey,
Is he John? Huh? We are honored to have you and your dog in our village. You will always be welcome. This gift is for you. I'm honored, Nkosi. Take it. <laughs> this is indeed a very clever dog. Hey, how did you try that up and do it? Jock. Jock. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Huh? That's it. That's it. Come on, boy. Wake up. Jock. Oh, Jock. Thank God you're all right. Death. Darkness comes when I find you. 
I'm sorry. I'll find you. Can you hear my call? Can you hear my call? Can you hear my call? I'm calling out of you. Voices in my head, but in my silent room, I'll find you. I'll find you. Sorry, sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself. Look at my suit. You've destroyed it. I've said I'm sorry. Just get out. Douglas, it's not his fault. Sit down, Lillian. Come on, Jock. Go on. Take it. I'm not intruding, am I? No, no, not at all. I wanted to apologize for Douglas's behavior. He was very rude. Well, he certainly made a mess of things. <laughs> Please. Would you like some coffee? Thank you. Is it just the one wagon? Um, no, I need to get more. Uh, start up my own transport company. What about the railroad? Seven years is a long time. What you said at that meeting about the elephants and all that killing. I thought it was admirable. At least someone did. Are you and Douglas betrothed? <laughs> uh, well, he has asked me to marry him. And? I don't think I'm ready for it. Doesn't like me much. <laughs> well, I wouldn't let that bother you. I've got something for you. I bought it in Delagoa Bay. I think you'll like it. Fuzamoy, drink this fresh air for you've got a long gin ahead of us. Great battle. Look at your sharp horns. Deep stem. Remember your ancestors. You do them proud. 
Amand, we need all your strength. Amand, smell the sea in your dreams. It is far away. You shouldn't do this trip, Fitz. It's getting too close to drains. Ted's if I could kill all your oxen. We'll make it, Ted. I've got four oxen waiting for me in Delagoa Bay. And if I do this trip, I can pay for my second wagon. <laughs> Why don't you take her along? She'll be bored here. we better get going. Take care when you pass through seedlings. Papa! Jock, Jess. Hey! I am As a puppy, don't fight you. As a puppy, don't fight you. Still, my girl. This is going to hurt. Not a sound. She didn't even whimper.
You don't like water, huh? little surprise for you, my darling. <laughs> we need to get some rations. Yeah, Bunkus. <laughs> Fitzpatrick, 50 pounds, says my baboon will kill your dog. 75. You should be ashamed of yourself, seedling. 100 pounds! Don't come. Seedling, you got your fight. beautiful thing I ever saw. After all this, yes, seedling crossed like a bark. <laughs> we have to go, Jim. No! 
We must celebrate Nkosi. I must be with my people. Yeah. Yeah. You must come. The chief will want you in job there. I'm worried about the rains. You go. I'll catch up with us tomorrow. Nkosi. Masi and Mato. has appointed a local agent to impose restrictions on hunting. That's fantastic. Come, I want to show you something. Love so strong as you move along. Life so well as you see is beginning. My love for you Runs deeper than you think we dream. Which one's the runs? They're all perfect. Like their father. I got a feeling that I'm doing all right. I could be dreaming of that I can't deny. My love for you runs deeper than you think. This one's for Ted. Thank you. 